All right, guys, we're playing some Super Mario Brothers 2, um, which is just the weirdest possible game it could be, you know, mostly because it was never... Oh, here's some lore. When Mario opened the door after climbing the long stair in his dream, another world spread before him and he heard... I didn't get to finish. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Push start button. That's weird narration. Um, of course, anybody that knows anything about um, about this game, you know, that it was just a reskin of, of Doki Doki Panic. And I've never played the original Doki Doki Panic. I've seen screen grabs of it, and it's it's the same game. Um, I don't know if the character select is, is different, but as far as America is concerned, this is Su Super Mario Bros. 2, you know, this is, um, this is it. So, and what I like about it is it's such a unique experience compared to, you know, a lot of other Mario games, um, even after this, uh, it, it was kind of a proof of concept that Mario was willing to get weird, you know, and I like it when things get weird. Of course, you know, spoiler alert, I'm going to go ahead and look, because we're not going to beat the game today, so I'm going to go ahead and spoil some things for you guys. This whole thing turns out to be a dream. I don't know why the beginning said, hey, he woke up from a dream, because he didn't. This this is the dream right now, which is insane when you realize that, um, you know, that... When you realize that it starts off with him falling, just like you would in a dream. But yeah, there's stuff that showed up in this game that, that never came back. There's some stuff that originated in this game. I think the, uh, the bob bombs that weren't, you know, they're, they're not bob bombs in this. They're just bombs. Um, oh, I thought that log was going to show up sooner. Um, you know, they're just bombs, but I think that that served as inspiration later on for the bob bombs um, Of course, this is the only it's The only game in the in the NES trilogy that had uh, These guys these shy guys because th you know because these are all oh, well, darn it These are all enemies, you know from Doki Doki Panic from what I understand This guy gonna jump out. Yeah, so yeah, you had these shy guys that you know, showed up instead of turtle. There's no turtles in here. There's no, uh, you know, it's its own thing. Like it's its own. Oh my God. I swear I know how to jump over this waterfall. I'm not even going to make it to the first doorway. Anyways. Um, but, uh, yeah, this weird health system that was dumb. You know, with the, the floating hearts, and they kind of make it Mario-esque with the mushrooms, but it, not really. Um, I also think this is the only... I could be wrong, but I swear... Oh, come on. That was super dumb, and we're not... Yeah, whatever. I'm going to play as Toad. But, uh, you know, I think this is the only one where you don't get flower power. I think this is the... So this is another interesting idea. It's like, okay, so you can play as different characters in this game that all turns out to be a dream. Does that mean that, like, in the dream, I actually wasn't even me. I was, I was Toad, or I was Princess, because I secretly longed to be a woman. I swear I was playing this the other day and doing rather well and I was like oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try to do a quick let's play and it's gonna end up taking forever because I'm gonna I'm gonna do so good on it and it turns out uh, one continue later that that was not a problem that I ended up having come on there you go blow all those guys up gotta get the right attitude going that was dumb Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. My nemesis. There we go. Look, now we're doing stuff. Sniper mode. Ah, 
I forgot that was there. Um, yeah, these bombs right here, like that's that's totally ye olde ba bomb. And I love look. And there's a turtle shell which they obviously added later to be like, oh look, star. I forgot you could even get star power in this. I wanted that heart. Yeah, it's just its own weird, unique thing, and I just I think I I don't think I ever ever actually even beat this game. As a kid, I think my sister beat it one time with me rooting her on. Because, of course, that's what you do. And there's all kinds of secrets. I like watching people that are really good at this game play it. Because, I mean, there's all kinds of secrets that I had no idea about. Is there a, there you go. I probably should have gone over to that other side. Nope, there's a, a mushroom so I can get more healths. Oh, there's a time stoppy thing? I didn't know that was there. Weird. I always like these little black star guys. And the fact that you still jump on enemies, but that doesn't actually hurt them. You can actually jump on them and throw them. Oh, man. And that still doesn't actually hurt them. You have to throw them into each other. It's just a... You know, what did Star-Lord call it? Like its own unspoken thing. There we go. Um... And it, it, its overall flow is unique too. It doesn't feel the jumping and running and, and the way that the screen scrolls, it doesn't feel anything like a like a Mario game. I mean, because it's not. But then it is. I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling, which is which is okay. Uh, and then the music. This is the other thing, is that there is music in this game that is unique to this game. Come on, you egg monster. Why? Okay. I pressed the button. There you go. Don't you want your baby? And I thought this was Birdo, but I swear I looked at something like a an enemies list, and they're like, oh yeah, that's totally not Birdo. I don't know. And I just figured out what this is. Like, you, you, these are the coins you get when you throw a potion on the ground. Determines how many tries you get to get extra lives. Of course, it doesn't matter because you're never going to get any. Um, oh, let's do the sailing princess because she likes to float through the air real nice and pretty. Okay, that was a glitch in my favor. Uh, maybe the princess was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, come here, you you weird bird face magic carpet riding glee glob. So it's like you know that this is one of those games that set an early precedence of there is no what is Mario, you know there is no well that's that can't be Mario or that can't be Mario because it's not this or it's not that like you, no you can be as weird as you want to be, and it's okay. There's a mushroom. Nice. Look, a squatting lady, squatting lady. There's no pipes. They're these. Yeah, you go in and out of pots, which of course they didn't bother. They could have reskinned those into pipes and like we would have all bought it, but they chose not to.
boom. I always love the comic book boom on here too, where it really just lets you know that blowing stuff up. That's important to me. Ow, you jerk. 360 no scoped me. Now I'm, a, I'm wondering, oh, of course that happened. I am wondering, like, I would like to see some Doki Doki Panic where, like, do you get small? Or is that something else they tried to reskin for this game because it was a... Because it was a Mario game. Um, and that made more sense in the Mario world that you would be able to, you know, when you got down to a certain... Oh, that was dumb. You know, when you get down to a certain point, the, oh, you got to be small, and then you have to become super princess, or... I don't know. I made it pretty far when I played this on my own, of course, but now I'm, I'm sucking butts. There we go. So I don't know how much farther... Oh, you got to... Pew! And that, the charge jump, which is very much like the, the movie title Spider-Man 2... You had to charge his jumps, and it was so much more fun than anything that they've ever made before or since. Uh, uh, oh, we died. I think that was the last one. Oh, no, I got one more. I got another guy. Uh, it's a conspiracy. There's a man on the grassy knoll. Bastard. Go over here. There we go. At least I can get a bunch of coins. Come on, princess. That's all you can do? That's all you got? Is it because you're small? I probably should have been further over. Whatever. It's battle music again. It's so it's you have one world and you basically have a boss at the end of every stage, which is also unique and weird. Her weird long jumps actually did not serve me well. Why are you not picking these up? I'm pressing the button. There we go. So do you think like Mario had some really spicy pasta the night before, and like that's what gave him all these weird. I don't know about you guys, but indigestion gives me some weird dreams. Ah, <sighs> two coins. I swear I got more coins than that, but whatever. I'm sucking a butt at this one. Yeah, we're not doing that. Let's do Luigi. We've seen everybody else. We can at least see Luigi real quick before we check out of this game. I like his little run. Let's let him run. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was pure luck. There we go. And I got a coin. Luigi's always been my favorite. Like, even before this resurgence in Ouija love that you see, you know, the people out there do. And I've always had love for the Ouija. I think everybody else is just now just discovering how cool the green Italian really is. Isn't there something cool like, oh, you gotta go, I don't know, there's a secret or something. Who knows? Oh, I went through the door. Oh, I think this is actually where I died before. So I made it. So I made it back to here. That's pretty good. I don't know if I'd call it progress, but... It's certainly not Congress. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Luigi's the man. Kind of has like the best of... I don't know about now, because I'm... This is my fault. This is my bad playing that I can't climb up this thing. But yeah, when I was playing through before, I think this was about as far as I got. So up here, because you had to come up... Oh yeah, that's what it was. Was I came up here, you got to get this key. And of course, one of these mask guys shows up, and then I was like, I'm going to ditch the key, just like I did before. And, um, was a mistake, because uh, I lost the key. Oh, there we go. We're doing much better, though. 
I mean, like, we don't have any lives. But when did we ever? If we had lives, we wouldn't be playing video games, right? Don't 360 no-scope me. That bullet's going to get me. Oh, wow, that was all dumb luck. Look at that. This is a f leap of faith. Oh, that was a dumb leap of faith because I died. Uh, anyway, um, so that was... Uh, I'm not going to continue again. That was that was uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. And I think I think that's one we're going to come back to. Um, I may try to train up and get better at these platformers and 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 actually try to beat that one because I I do remember I remember the boss fight and how stressful it is with throwing all the stuff at you and um, but the the controls are so sloppy and loose like that's which is one of the things that made Mario unique. Uh, the first Mario game unique was how he could slide, and it was it was really loose controls. It wasn't overly tight like your Mega Man's or whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're definitely gonna revisit this game. Um, I'm just trying to I'm trying to roll through my entire collection, at least one video each, before I do like complete playthroughs again. Um, so unless you want me to try to do a complete, th but you've got all these other guys that do that. You know, it's just me goofing around. Uh, so I hope hope you enjoyed it. I hope you. I hope you've at some point caressed that like button and um and I hope that you know that your mom and dad are very proud of you and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye now.